Caitlin. Hi. How are you? I'm really good. Thank you for asking. Okay, great. So um, let's go ahead and verify your last name. It's Wilder. Okay. And your date of birth, please. October 3rd, 1997. Okay. Can you please tell me today's dates? It's going to be February 20th, mm -hmm. 2023. Perfect. All right. And I see here you're for your annual um, checkup. All right. Perfect. Do you have any concerns? Uh, no. Okay. When was your last checkup? I think it was a year ago. Okay. Are you taking any medications? Just breath control. Okay. I'm going to ask you some questions just to make sure that I'm getting the right uh, image and um, we have everything on file for you. Okay. Your last menstrual period, the first day of your last menstrual period. Do you remember? I would say three weeks ago. Okay, let me pull up my calendar here. Okay, so it was about January 10th. Yeah, sounds right. Okay, and do you remember um, when you first had your first period? I was 13. 13. And how many days does it usually last? Let's say six or seven. Six to seven, okay. And usually how many days in between periods? I would say like a month. It's so like 30 days? Yeah. Okay. Have you noticed any recent changes? No. Okay. Are you currently sexually active? Yes. Okay. And sexual partners are men or women? Men. Okay. And your method of birth control is? The pill. The pill. Okay. And for how long have you been on that? Since I was 19. Okay. And um, have you ever had an IUD? No. No. Okay. When was your last pap smear? Um, it was last year. Okay. Well, uh, we do not have records of that, so I think I would like to do one more okay. on this visit. Do you remember the result of it? It was normal. No. Okay. And have you ever had an abnormal pap test? No. Okay. Do you do uh, breast self-examinations? No. Okay. Okay. Have you ever been pregnant? No. All right. Any family history of diabetes, stroke, heart disease? Only high blood pressure. Okay. And is that from uh, father's side or mother's side? Mother's. Mother's. Any history of um, high cholesterol, hepatitis, TB? No. Okay. Do you smoke or have you ever smoked? No. Okay. And do you drink alcohol? Yeah. Okay. How many drinks per week? Probably like two. Okay. And do you exercise regularly? Semi-regularly. Okay. How, how long and how often would you say? I would say I go to the gym every, like, twice a week. Okay. And I use the treadmill for 35 minutes. Okay. And are you taking any calcium supplements? No. Okay. Any vitamins, multivitamins? No. Okay. Okay. Are you an organ donor? Mm, I'm, I'm actually not sure. Okay. 
Any history of high blood pressure for you or diabetes? No. Okay. Any thyroid disease? No. Okay. Have you ever had a mammogram or a breast exam? No. Okay. Any hospitalizations? No. Okay. And do you have um, um, any immunizations against uh, flu, pneumonia, hepatitis, or tetanus? I've gotten my vaccine, so I'm up to date. Okay. So, all of them? Mm. Okay. I believe we have everything in order. So, what I'm going to do now is I'll have you change in this gown right here. Okay. All right, and I will come back and I'll take your vital signs and we'll do the uh, breast exam and the pelvic exam as well. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and apply gloves. And I'll take your vital signs. Okay. Have you noticed any pain anywhere in your body? I do have a little bit of pain. It's in my lower abdomen, okay. it feels like it might be my uterus or my ovaries in, okay. that, in that area. All right, I'll definitely take a look. Any fevers in the last 48 hours? No. Okay. okay I'm going to put this underneath your tongue. Can you hold this for me? Mm -hmm. And I'll take your oxygenation level. Good. 35.5 Celsius. It's very normal. Okay, and I'll take your blood pressure. Is this arm okay? Can you please uncross your legs for me? Okay, blood pressure is 110 over 65. That's normal. And heart rate is 88. Oxygenation is 96 percentile on room air. That's also good. I'm going to listen to your heart and your lungs. I want to take a baseline, make sure that you know there's nothing else wrong with you, and we're going to um, then not repeat the same process next time. So just this time, I'll listen to your heart. Okay. okay. Is it okay if I put the stethoscope underneath your shirt? Yeah.
Okay, can you take a deep breath in? Breathe out. Okay, take a deep breath in. Breathe out. Okay, listen to the slides too. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Good. On this side. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Okay. Okay, my lateral sounds are normal. And only S1 and S2 were heard. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and examine your breasts now. So what I'm looking for is for any discoloration, um, any lumps, and any asymmetry. Okay? I'm going to have you open the count and I'll examine you. So first I'm visually inspecting both breasts. They look symmetric. Though the left one looks a little bit bigger than the right one, which is definitely normal. And I'm not seeing any redness. Okay. Looks very good and healthy. Alright, is it okay if I start palpating? I'm going to start from the top and move down, okay? Okay. Alright, go ahead and relax this side. And you can go ahead and relax. So I'm starting with a clavicle and I'm not feeling anything swollen above it. Moving down on the clavicle line, there is no tenderness. Okay. No pain. Okay, now we'll go in a circular motion around your breast, clockwise direction, and I'm just going to gently palpate for any lumps, although most of the times lumps can be just hormonal and they come and they go as we go through the cycle. Sometimes human chocolate or coffee can trigger some of those lumps to appear. Okay, have you noticed your breast being more tender before your period? A little bit. Okay, is it a lot of pain or just a little bit of pain? Just a little. That's good. Okay, I am feeling a very small pea-sized lump, okay, it's medial to the breast and the chest area. 
let's say it's about a three to four millimeters in diameter. So it's not too big. It is soft and seems to be moving. So that's a good sign. Okay. Most likely it's just fluid filled. Okay. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and write a note about that. And is it okay if I palpate your armpit as well on this side? Alright, so I'm going to look for any lymph nodes. I'm going to have you put your put your hand like this. Perfect. So I'm going to use just two fingers here. If it's too ticklish, let me know. I'm just using them to palpate. Just check for any lymph nodes. If it's too ticklish, let me know, okay? Okay, very good. Alright, I'm gonna have you relax and I'll check your other breasts now. Alright, I'm gonna have you relax. Same thing, I'm starting with the clavicle and move down. I'm not seeing any redness. Okay, and is it okay if I check your armpit area as well? Okay. All right, I'm gonna have you do the same thing. Put your hand behind your head. Perfect.
Okay, good, perfect. All right, so what I'm gonna have you do now is I'll have you lay down and I'll do an abdominal examination too. So what I'm gonna do is I will just lift up your gown a little bit and I'll examine your abdomen. Is it okay if I put the pants a little bit lower? Yeah. Okay. I'll first listen. Okay, I'm sorry, this is going to feel a little bit cold. Okay, very normal bowel sounds. Is it okay if I do a gentle palpation? Okay, I'm going to press down on your ovaries. Let me know if you feel any kind of pain. Is it here? It's the other side. Okay. okay. I'm not feeling any masses. So, ovary seems to be normal size. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and percuss. Okay, very normal sounds. So what I'm gonna do now is I will do a vaginal examination. Um, I'm looking for any lumps, again, any asymmetry, any painful parts, let me know, okay? But this should not be painful in any way. So I'm gonna go ahead and first inspect, all right? I'm going to lift up the gown and take a look. And every move that I'll be doing, I'll tell you before I'm doing it, okay? Alright, I'm not seeing anything abnormal so far. No discharge, no redness, discolorations. Okay, and I'm going to use a speculum here to open up the vaginal canal. So that might have felt a little bit cold. Okay, and what I'm gonna do now is I will do a swab. We're going to test for any infection.
Okay, and one more swab. Now this is going to touch the cervix, so it's going to feel like a burning sensation. Okay, we are done with that one. Now I'm going to do one more swab and we're going to test for any STVs. Okay, that was it. Now you might experience a little bit of spotting or bleeding, but it should not be more than just a drop if you experience anything more than that give us a call okay all right now i'm just gonna go ahead and do one flush with normal saline So I'm going to have you get dressed and we'll discuss the results.